Good evening. I'm Jean Casares in for Nancy Grace. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It could happen to anyone. A family road trip turns tragic. They are traveling down the interstate for a summer vacation when the front windshield is hit by an eight pound rock. And tonight, please say this is no accident. Out to Michael Board, reporter with WOAI News Radio. What happened? This is a family who was driving down Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania, and uh, from out of nowhere, a rock came falling out of the sky. Uh, the investigators say the rock was eight pounds, so I went out to a construction site next to our station, and I found a rock that's eight pounds big. This is bigger than my head. I can barely hold this up for very long. This fell from two stories high, an overpass fell right down onto the windshield of a Nissan SUV hitting the face of a woman who was riding in the passenger seat. The investigators who are looking into this, the, the medical teams, say there were so many fractures that this rock caused, they could stop counting. They, there were so many fractures they couldn't, they, they stopped counting. There's so many that this rock did. And, and Michael Bohr, this is a teacher, this is a breast cancer survivor on a summer vacation with her family. And we have interstates all over this country. This is Interstate 80 where this happened, and that goes coast to coast. Uh, tell me more, though, uh, Clark Goldband, what time of night was it? How did it happen? And, and just some particulars to this. All right, Gene, let's go from your first question, and we'll continue from there. Happened right before midnight, and perhaps most disturbing, the 19-year-old daughter, they're on a family vacation, is driving, like so many of us this time of year, taking vacations. She hears what's only termed as an explosion, this eight-pound rock hovering down from over 20 feet in the air, smashing her mom in the face. Some disturbing details on what happens to mom, Jean. So disturbing, I, it's not even something we can report at the family hour, the type and extent of the damage that was done to this mother and teacher. Jean, what were your other questions? You know, my, I'm going to switch right now because we've got a special guest and joining us, and it takes so much courage for him to, to join us tonight. But this is Randy Budd. This is Sharon Budd's husband, the father of uh, a 19-year-old daughter that was driving the car. Uh, Mr. Budd, your wife is in the hospital. What is her condition tonight as we speak? Um, uh, th thank you for having me on the show. Uh, f first of all, uh, the my, my wife is um they, they don't know the the brain has not uh, stopped uh, swelling um here's here's what we do know is that she's been heavily sedated uh she's got uh up on command she uh, potentially can move her uh fingers and toes uh we have obviously not been able to talk with her what we know is that uh she has uh, definitely lost uh, her right eye. Uh, the left eye is definitely in question. Her face, uh, when that rock hit her, it hit her right head on, right to that windshield, busted her uh, top portion of her face backwards and split it out. They are uh, doing uh, a surgery, uh, extensive, extensive all-day surgery tomorrow to try to put her face uh, back together. Uh, no one knows how she's going to come out of this, if she comes out of it, and if, if she'll ever know us or, or, or anybody. But uh, we, we have hope. Uh, she's a strong lady. We, we have hope that uh, she, she has had some reaction. Uh, she's in critical care, and she has been in critical care ever since she went, went to Geisner. Um, so she, she's, not, she, she's not in good shape. Uh, her life has changed forever. Uh, she, she was so uh, impactful with uh, her seventh uh, grade students. Uh, they absolutely love her. Uh, she, is, she saved a, a, a child's life in a classroom. Uh, she's been recognized over and over. Um, and so it's not just our family, but it's all these kids that are going to be denied the, uh, the Sharon Bud teaching, she's taken introverts and made them uh, great kids, and it's all for just a, a senseless, violent act. 